All right, well, it's Back to the Future Day. The very day, 30 years in the future, to which Marty travels in Back to the Future Part 2. Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? Yes, 2015. Uh, so, Roger, we made it. <laughs> we were here in the future. Does this make you feel as old as it makes me feel? Uh, absolutely. I grew up watching, loving these movies. I mean, they were on a constant run on HBO, so I would just be watching them nonstop. And so to actually see us arrive at 2015 is, is kind of amazing. And, and yes, does make me feel a little dated. <laughs> uh, what do you think the Back to the Future got right and what did they get wrong? You know, they got a lot right. I think the filmmakers weren't really intending to try to accurately predict. I think they were just trying to go for some of the craziest visuals they could find, and clearly they succeeded. But, uh, you know, in terms of 3D imagery in movies, smart clothes, uh, flat screen TVs, there's just fingerprint sensors. They actually got quite a bit right. You know, the, the idea of uh, voice activated commands, right, in your home, turning on lights by saying lights, uh, that's something we could do now.